viral idea I think is so fun and so inexpensive. I love anything that has to do with paint and this is just fun. You guys are gonna love this. I went to the thrift store and I picked up three different glasses that had just a really fun shape to them. So this is actually like a paint dipping technique where we're going to put these in actual paint. This is a great way to utilize old paint that you have on hand. The paint that I'm gonna be using is some samples I have from Sherwin Williams. I can give you the names of them. If you're interested, this one's called Blustery Sky. I think this one is Rainstorm. And then I have Argo, which is kind of like a gray color. So I'm gonna start by scraping off the millions of labels on here. So here's a tip for decorating. Anytime you're looking at putting out, you know, some different vases, if you put things in sets of three, they just look a lot better. And if you can vary your heights, that looks even better. So when I picked out these at the thrift store, I made sure that they were different heights and I set them out on the shelf to make sure that they all looked good together. So I'm definitely going to put on a glove for this. With this hack, what you're supposed to do is you're just supposed to dip the glass into the paint, like completely dip it in. So that'll come to probably about here. And then we're going to pull it out and let it set. And then the paint's supposed to drip down and make it look really cool. We'll see how this goes. Okay, you can see my dark paint. The only thing I didn't think about is do I have too much paint in here that the paint's gonna come out the side. So let's hope that doesn't happen. So I'm gonna be tipping it upside down so the actual top portion is what's gonna go into the paint. I am nervous to do this. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Okay, the paint's coming up on the side. I'm a little, oh my gosh, the paint's gonna like come out. <laughs> okay, the paint is like really coming up on the sides. Maybe I need to take some paint out. Let me pour a little bit of paint in the lid. Maybe that'll give us just enough that it we can put it back in. Okay, let's try it again. Okay. Not really. All right, I might have to go run and get a cup. Oh my gosh. You're watching this live, you guys. <laughs> oh no, our paint's already starting to drip. Okay, I got some cups. I'm gonna pour in some of the paint. Okay, let's do this again. So then we'll just know for the next one. I'm really not able to get it in that much more, so I don't know if that made a big difference. Okay, so I'm gonna immediately turn it and we're gonna let it sit and see what it does. All right, I feel like it's looking pretty cool on this side, like I like that. Actually, see I don't know what I did here but this is actually looking pretty cool. So maybe I don't wanna dip it in as far as I was thinking. Let's just let that one do its thing. Oh, I forgot that I put all this paint in the lid. Uh, that's gonna mess up my lid. I feel like I should take a little bit of paint out. I'm gonna take a little bit out. This color is my second blue color. It's called the Blustery Sky. So we're going to dip it in. This one's gonna be cool, you guys. Okay, I'm excited for this one. All right, I'm gonna flip it. Oh my goodness, okay. It's kind of nerve wracking, but it's fun too. All right, this one's starting to run. This one is looking really cool. Like, I love that. I kind of think these are looking so good. I realized with my last container, it's not gonna fit into this container. So I have this little container from the Dollar Tree, so I'm going to pour the gray paint into here so I can do this. But aren't these looking cool? I don't know, you guys will have to let me know if you like these. So the last container we're going to stick into the paint. Oh gosh, oh my gosh, okay. All right, now I'm gonna flip it. It really isn't that messy. Like even this glove is completely clean. Okay, I think I put a lot of paint on that one. That one's like really coming down. 
I am going to try to get the rest of the paint back in the container. I'm gonna let these dry completely. If you're worried that these look a little too trendy, my recommendation would just be to stick with some basic colors that are really neutral. Like these blues and this gray color, they're very neutral. So it's not gonna be too overdone sitting out. So here's a look at how I styled these. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.